Hey guys, and welcome back to Milo Investigations. Alright, well now we need to search inside the Carousel Boutique. But first, let's see what's going on here. Say, Verity, I know that these booths are here for trying on dresses, but I've always wondered, what's the purpose of the drawers? Why, darling, accessories, of course! A dress isn't a dress without a little sprucing up to match the pony who's going to wear it! Let's see, we've got gems, jewels, sequins, lace, buttons, threads, frills, bells, patches, little pieces of string that I've picked up off the ground, fuzzy bits that I'm not sure what they're from. Why are those last two in there? Are you obsessive compulsive? I, um, I think I'm getting the picture rarity. Thanks. Although, aren't gems and jewels the same thing? Yeah. Certainly not! Only an undrained eye would think such a thing! No, whatever, semantics. That is, not to say that you're, uh, untrained in terms of optical ability, Twilight. Gee, thanks. thanks. Yeah. Let's see, what's, let's see what else is over here. We me try going upstairs. Twilight, my dear, may I ask where you're going? Oh, well, I thought maybe the thief had come in through the second floor window. Twilight, that is my bedroom. I rather think I would have noticed if they had come in through there. You don't know that. For all you know, they could have, they could have uh, teleported in there. Or whatever. Uh, <laughs> right. Never mind. Hey, I I'm not ruling anything out. Oh, it's the mirrors. Wow, Rarity. You certainly take good care of your mirrors. These practically shine. But of course, it's how I size up all of my clients. You can't see clearly if you can't first see clearly, you know? Uh, sure. Um, yeah. I think? Hmm. Now that I look at you in this light, why, you're looking positively radiant, darling. Uh, I am? What does that mean? But of course! Picture it! I could put together a nice green dress for you! No, not green. Sea green. And it would be flowing and would have sapphires from the hip down to the bottom in a swirling fashion! Uh, no thanks. Rarity. But it would have to have the shoulders just right. Why, if they're too small, then it's like they aren't there at all. But if they're too big, well, then you look just like a cliche tacky princess. Nothing like the princesses we know. Rarity... And of course we have to give you something else to wear on top of your back! Why, it just wouldn't do to make there be nothing separate! Pretty? Now I'm thinking of something silk. Maybe orange? Or perhaps... Yes, of course! Something red! My dear, to accentuate that rather tasteful streak you have in your mane, and... Verity! Thank you. Oh, um... Yes, Twilight? Shut up. Um, perhaps we should be getting back to our investigation? Yes. But I'm in the zone, Twilight! You could be the star inspiration for my entire new fashion lineup! As far as I'm concerned, you're in the friend zone. Rarity. You, because you've been friend zoned. Ah, alright, alright. Ah, whatever. Okay, now let's use Rarity's ability to search around here. To search this obvious bit of paper right here. But no, that's not what you have to search. You have to search right here. Huh? What's this? It's also oddly specific as to where you have to point at. To where you have to point at. This is an oddly shaped jewel. Seen this before? No! I can't say I have. Hmm. Huh. Strange. Are they claws, maybe? I don't know. A bunch of small gems? Rarity, did the thieves try to steal these too? If they did, why would they be there? Well, no, actually. Those had been on that stool. I imagine they were knocked over with it. I had been trying to find them, though. Thank you, Twilight. You could have found them with the naked eye. <sighs> uh, never mind then. Well, now I think that's about it for things to be found in here. Thanks, Rarity. Are you sure? I would think there'd be more things to find. Say, 
I wonder if we missed anything else somewhere else. Rarity, would you mind tagging along a little longer? That ability looks useful. But of course, Twilight! Lead the way, my dear! I should check elsewhere to see if we've missed anything. Perhaps outside the boutique to start. Alright, well then we'll go outside the boutique. Alright, well let's take a look around. Alright, where is it? Oh, come on. This thing is really specific. Like, really picky. Uh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. The grass has been trampled in this area. Like some pony ran through here. Ordinarily, that wouldn't be remarkable. Considering that thieves naturally would trample the grass as they left. But there's something that strikes me as odd about this. What would that be? The thing that's odd about this trampled grass is... Okay, normally you would think to pick this because, you know, Skirloo, but no, it's this. Wait a second. What was it that Apple Bloom said about what she saw? And then a little while after that, some pony ran across the bridge real fast. We didn't get a good look at it, but I, I'm pretty sure it was Skootaloo twice. Skootaloo went across the bridge. Yet, this trampled grass rather clearly does not lead towards the bridge. It doesn't? How, well, how am I supposed to tell? It, it's not drawn very well. I think it's safe to say this adds even more credibility to the idea that some pony had been here before Scootaloo. The question now is, who? It leads to the boutique? Alright, whatever you say, Twilight. Was it another pony? No, that seems unlikely. A pony wouldn't have left behind this piece of evidence. The claw marks? How's this? That stool was ripped up by what seems clearly a claw. But ponies sure don't have claws. Well, not the ones you know. Someone who would steal a jewel and who has claws. I'm starting to get a picture here. Who could that be? Verity, I think I may have to do something. Truly, Twilight? Fantastic! Do tell! It's only an educated guess right now. But it might lead to something bigger than that. Follow me. I think I can get where I need to go from the south entrance of Town Square. Time to pay an old friend a little visit. Well, now we'll go to Rambling Rock Ridge. And off we go. Now, let, now let's see, who do we know that has claws and lights jewels? Hmm. If I may ask, Twilight, where are we going? As much as I like beautiful, sparkling, bedazzling gems, uh, this does not seem like the appropriate time to be searching for them. We're not here for the gems, Rarity. That's not all that's in this area. Then I'm afraid that I do not... Mm-hmm. Oh. No! No, Twilight, you can't mean... Yes. I'm afraid so. We need to head east at this fork. <sighs> if we must. Sorry, Rarity. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, let's talk to this guard. My name is Twilight Sparkle. We are investigating a crime, and we would like to ask permission to enter your caverns to search. So, can we come in? Maybe? Uh, please? No. Move aside, Twilight! One must allow a lady to handle a situation with such a fine, gentle cult. Dog, whatever. Ah, uh, knock yourself out. Ahem, dearest, uh, dog, we would be ever so grateful if you would allow us entry. No. Oh, come now. Surely we can uh, work things out. I, if you get my drift. Do I look like I want to work things out? No. No? Is that... Yes. Well, I never. You shall stand aside, my good dog. Right this instant! No. 
Uh, rage time. You, sir, are a ruffian and a cur, and I have half a mind to find whoever is responsible for such a clearly insufficient upbringing and rearing a give that individual a rather significant piece of my mind. Are we quite clear on this matter? These have been called ruffian and a cur all the time. Yes. And furthermore, I dare say that I might just report this behavior to... Oh... Whichever officials are tasked with regulating this sort of thing, because let me tell you! <sighs> what in the seven dogs' dens is this ridiculous? No! Not you! What are you here for? <gasps> you! 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 Me! If All of you! What's this? Bit. How are you? You! Quiet! You're moving, but I can't hear anything you're saying. Sheesh. I see those two get along about as well as they did before. <sighs> now, if we're all done being little kids... Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Um... Dog? My name is Twilight Sparkle. I'm investigating a crime that happened last night, and I have reason to suspect that someone from here might be involved. Could we take a look around your, um, caverns? No. No? No. <sighs> I guess okay. now we know who trains the guards around here. Mr. Dog, if you don't let us in, then I'm going to have to... <laughs> mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that, Pony. Why not? Um, excuse me? You do not have warrant. Huh? No warrant, no entry. You enter, you trespass. Wait, these guys know about the law? How? When in Equestria did the Diamond Dogs get all legal? Good question. Hmm, I'm afraid they are. <gasps> Right, much as it pains me to admit that, things have changed between ponies and dogs since we made, uh, first contact, I suppose you could call it. Uh, why am I always the last to know this sort of thing? I'm not gonna say anything of that, I, although I would think Charlotte would at least keep up with a bit of the law you see, of the town she lives in. You see, we agreement. They abide by our laws, and we leave them alone. Which means that I'm afraid we indeed cannot simply barge in like hooligans. Much as I would like to... Stand down, Rarity. Okay, and... How do we get around this exactly? A warrant, my dear. Like you said, if we show the mayor reason for suspicion, then she can issue a search warrant to allow us entry. What? Simple, really. Wait, why can't we just sneak in? Ah, oh, whatever. Simple. That's not an option. Right. Famous last words, Rarity. All right. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be back. We are not moving anywhere. Unlike you. You go away now. Good friends. All right. Well, the mayor is going to be working at town hall this time of day, so back to town square. Nowhere else to go right now. Um, let's see if we can't persuade him in any way. So nice, um, weather we're having, isn't it? How about that local sports team? I prefer the Bulldogs. Uh, what? You know, clouds and sunshine and stuff. Weather. Do you know why this pony is talking to me? No. Wait a. Huh? Hello! This hair definitely isn't that dog's. Nope. I feel like I've seen it before. Gee, I wonder where. It couldn't possibly belong to... Opal. Yep. These two bits of hair definitely look the same. That's almost certainly Opal's hair. On a dog's back. Interesting. 
Gee, I wonder what it could mean. It's almost like the diamond dots have opal. Let's go this way. Uh, oh, hello. What, what, what is this? This is opals. I know it's anywhere, Twilight. Oh, my darling opal. Wherever could you be? Mama's so worried about you, opal. Well, well, I let her have a fainting spell. I'll make a note that this is Opal's. Very interesting finding it here of all places. I refer you to my sarcastic statement earlier. Hmm, well, I think I have about all the evidence I can get to convince the mayor of the Diamond Dog's involvement. Um, I think that dog's supposed to come after we talk to the mayor, but whatever. I sure hope this works. I should get back to Town Hall. I mean, technically that dog would make sense after you talk to the mayor, but we haven't done that yet, so that seems a bit out of place. Anyways, let's talk to the mayor now. Oh, come on. Hang on, I'll, I'll be back. And we're back with uh, my own investigations. Don't know why the game crashed there, but we're back. Yeah, I had. Thankfully, I didn't have to play up too far to get to this point. Thank God for auto saves. The mayor looks like she's in the middle of some important work. I'll wait until she's done. Hmm. Yes. I think our budget can manage if we're more efficient in this area, allowing us to free up enough bits from those savings. I really have to make sure the catering service is on time this time. Huh? We can't have a repeat of last year's debacle. What's this about catering? Yes, that should do it. <sighs> Planning birthdays is hard work. Uh oh. I do hope Mother appreciates all this. Silly me. I was thinking of a different mayor who actually takes responsibility seriously. Now she seems to be at least responsible for something. Oh, Twilight Sparkle. I didn't hear you come in. Can I help you with anything? Yes. But before we do that, I feel like looking around here. Ah, uh, our old equestrian flag. Put in place over a thousand years ago to celebrate our two reigning princesses. Although, until Princess Luna returned, I never did understand the second half of the flag. I always thought that perhaps Princess Celestia had dunked herself in Blackberry what? Jammer. Something like that. Okay. I hear that's the newest rage among the young ponies, after all. I don't even know how one would respond to that, so I won't. And me neither. Ah. Well, let's see what else is around here. Uh, Ponyville flag. What do you girls think? I just commissioned some ponies to come up with a flag for Ponyville, and there you have it. Doesn't it look wonderful? Can you just feel the majestic history emanating? Mm, no. Er, uh, well, the green or red is a bit festive, and the outline is a bit plain, wouldn't you say? I mean, the interior is interesting enough, perhaps, but all this green, darling, it's just empty space, unused empty space. Uh-oh. I paid a fortune's worth of bids to that artistic team. Oh uh, boy. Oh, well, um, it's nice. Uh boy. So many bits. I think the mayor's gonna have a mental breakdown. I think we should change the subject for Good idea. Well, it's like these voice spastic. Huh? Wow, it looks like the mayor's really been working hard on something. Let's see here. My Autobiography, Chapter 1. I was born to a meager Ponyville family. A Mayor's Life, Chapter 1. Tale of a Mayor, Chapter 1. Wow, really? Yeah, I guess I should have seen that one coming. Hmm. Anyway, now let's talk to the mayor. Mayor, we need your help with something. We have reason to suspect that the Diamond Dogs were involved with the crime against Rarity last night. And we need a search warrant to let us search their caverns. What? Did I do that right? Twilight, 
To begin, what evidence do you have that this is the case? Well, a ripped stool in the carousel boutique and trampled grass outside the carousel boutique. That's good enough. And this implicates the diamond dogs. How? I... <laughs> I guess it doesn't really, does it? Uh, I could have told... You could tell her... What oh, that... The back what the claw marks and trampled grass mean, but... Whatever. Even if you had evidence, Twilight, that brings us to the second point. You aren't acting in any official capacity. Who cares? I can't very well just give a search warrant to any ordinary citizen. But we don't have any pony like that! Well, yes. Hence the reason why we're bringing in a team from Canterlot. Honestly. Twilight, it would do you some good to pay attention. Uh, well, we can address the issue that I'm not an investigator of later. Right now, we need to fix the evidence problem. I'm pretty sure I've already got other evidence that should convince her. I just need to present it. Think? Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Let's actually talk about the investigative team. Oh, Twilight! That reminds me. I heard some rather wonderful news from the investigative team in Canterlot. Oh? Oh, really? Let's hopefully they're late. I'm pleased to report that they wrapped up their current case earlier than expected. <laughs> And we'll be here tomorrow instead of a few days' time. Crap. Isn't that great? Oh. That's wonderful! <laughs> uh, really don't be out here. Oh, tomorrow? <laughs> That's great! You're not making anything better. Go, like, right now. We have a case to solve. Is she alright? I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah. Eventually. Like, never. Well, anyways, let's present the evidence to, uh, the mayor. First, the ribbon. Mayor, I hate to say it, but I can't find any decent evidence casting suspicion on the dialogue. Why do I keep skipping the dialogue? However, we can't I for the do true have blue evidence case, casting this, suspicion on them for a different crime. Yep. And what would that be? The true blue wasn't the only thing stolen last night. Opalescence was also stolen as well. And I have reason to suspect that it was the Diamond Dogs who did it. This is a serious accusation, Twilight. What evidence do you have? We found this ribbon, which is Opal's, right outside the Diamond Dogs' caverns. Hmm, intriguing. But I'm afraid that this is just not good enough, Twilight. What? Come now, Twilight. This could have easily just blown there if it had come off on its own. It's not a very heavy material. If you don't have anything that relates directly to the Diamond Dogs, I don't think I can do anything here, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. I need something else, then. Back to the investigation. No need, because I have something else I can use. The hair on the back of the Diamond Dogs. Alright, Mayor. You wanted more evidence? I've got more evidence. Now remember, now remember, uh, remember Twilight. Present it with pizzazz. We found hair just like this on a diamond dog's back. It's Opal's. It has to be. That's not pizzazz. We know it has to be. We found Opal's ribbon just outside their cavern, too. Don't you think it's at least reasonable to suspect the diamond dogs of having a part in Opal's disappearance? Yeah. All right, Twilight. I suppose you have a point. Hooray. I will grant that, by this point in time, you have certainly established reasonable suspicion of the Diamond Dogs. However... Oh no. Ugh! What, what now? There is still the issue, Twilight, that you are not an investigator. Uh, who cares? <sighs> right. That. Twilight, the team from Canterlot will be here soon enough. Why are you doing all of this? Go to your straight, Twilight. Because they couldn't solve their way out of a paper bag! This is serious business, and if they get involved and take over, there is no way we'll get to the bottom of this. Mm-hmm. There must be something you can do. <sighs> if I may interject, Mayor? Oh, great. What's Verdi gonna say? By this time, Twilight has already rung the truth, to use a base expression, out of several ponies already. And has found and learned.
learned a great deal about this case. Oh, well, thank you, Rarity. I had my doubts, but if my word counts for anything around Ponyville, I, for one, now have complete confidence in Twilight Sparkle's investigative abilities. Hey, we need support for Rarity. Uh, not sure, not sure that counts for anything, but, well, in this case, I guess it would. Well, I suppose if we do not have a police force in Ponyville... For some reason. That would make me the closest thing Ponyville has to such a thing. It's rather unorthodox, but if you absolutely will not let this go, then I suppose I could use my position as mayor of Ponyville to make you an official Ponyville investigator. Temporarily, at least. You... really? Ahem. <clears throat> Twilight Sparkle, by the power vested in me as mayor of Ponyville, I hereby offer you the, temporary of course, position of official Ponyville investigator, and all the responsibilities and duties expected therein. Hooray. Do you accept this position? Yes. I, er, <clears throat> well, I mean, that is, oh, to heck with it. Yes, 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 yes. Dang! You're excited. <laughs> Which is to say, I, um, accept. So you're lucky you, didn't, you don't lose position now. Let's see what the mayor says. Just don't make me regret this, Twilight. You will regret this. You won't, mayor. I promise. Oh, this was my first playthrough. She'd definitely regret it. Alright, right, diamond, diamond dogs. dogs. Your time is up. Mm -hmm. Back to the caverns. Okay, and now with that out of the way, in the next part, I will meet you outside the Diamond Dodds Caverns, and we will show them the search warrant, and we will be able to search those caverns. That said, see you guys then.